So you need that last minute carpet seam strategy before you can wrap up the job and get paid. Well, in this video, I'm going to break it down for you. What's good? It's Carpet Mike here from CarpetExpertBlueprint.com. And before I get into the content piece, remember, when you stop by CarpetRepairCheatCo.com, link below the video, we'll break down strategies for you to earn $75 to $125 doing simple carpet repairs, plus enter to win a carpet electric Tecker stapler over there. So carpetrepaircheatcode.com, link below the video. First things first, you just watched me put a nice fresh edge on that carpet. Now I'm working my way down that same edge that I just put a nice clean cut on and I'm cutting little slits into the carpet below it. This is a classic hack trick right here. Now we're gonna fold that back. We're gonna take a nice sharp blade and we're gonna play connect the dots on those little slits right there. Just one to the other to the other till we make it all the way to the other side. Once we have all that done, we're going to make sure our work was at least decent enough and if it was then we could go ahead and get ready to put that seam together so we're almost at the other end one more cut after that and boom all right let's go ahead and see if it's lined up right just go ahead and get that edge to edge there feel it all the way down if it looks good you're in good shape if it's a little bit hefty you can go ahead and shave it back a little bit here so we're going to take just a hair off of that edge there i think double check what am i doing i don't even know Kicking over cameras, that's what we're doing. Okay, good, good, back to business there. Phenomenal camera work on this video. We're gonna go ahead and throw a fresh blade in the knife there because when you have to go ahead and trim it up just a little bit more, you wanna make sure you got a fresh sharp blade to get down to business. If the blade's janky, it's gonna give you an ugly cut and you just don't want that. So we shave that little edge off, just a little dabble, do you? And that'll line us up perfectly. Now you cannot get away with this on Berbers like this typically it would create a hot mess. But on these frisés, just fine. Slice and dice and be ready to rock. Now, once we're all the way good and ready to go, we're gonna go ahead and grab for that seam tape there. Finish cutting that out. Boom, boom, oh, so much better. Getting our seam tape, going over and roll that door jam to door jam, tear off what we need, fold it back, unroll it and tuck it under the seam there from side to side, and fold it under at the end so it pops up on top of the texture there. All right, we're getting in good shape here, getting down to business, the money part. Let's go ahead and stick the seam iron in there. We're gonna let it cook there for a good 10-ish seconds or so, and on the dial on the seam iron, if you're new to this, keep it between a two and three. If you're down for business, go ahead and crank it up to four. Just know you gotta keep that thing moving because if you don't, it will warp the carpet and that seam will be a hot disaster there. So we're about to hit our 10 second mark here. We're gonna grab that seam iron and slide it forward. Man, I am all engaged in conversation with somebody over here. I don't know what I'm all about, but we're sliding that forward there. Okay, life is good. Take it an iron's length forward. We're gonna put that together, blend it in with your fingertips, tuck in the other end there. Or not, I, I'm not tucking it in apparently. Nope, there we go, now I'm tucking it in. Look at that, I'm a little ahead of myself, behind myself, I don't even know. We're gonna get through this though, guys, sit tight. We're gonna be okay. And then we're gonna slide it in iron's length forward again, blend that in. Now you can use a carpet tractor for this or your fingertips like I like to use, less tools, the better the craftsmanship. You know what I'm saying? That's what it's all about in this game. Then we're just gonna go ahead and take that seam iron, we're gonna slide it out. Watch this, whoop, perfect. We're gonna put the last little bit of that seam together and that's all there is to this. See, with a classroom like this, anybody could dominate the carpet flooring industry there. So go ahead and comment below with any questions. I'm gonna connect with you on the next video.